Hello, I'm WBZ TV meteorologist Barry Burbank, and I have your forecast for the rest of this Saturday and the rest of the weekend and into much of the upcoming week as we end October and begin November. Well, anyway, October, as you know, has been a phenomenal month with the mean temperature still plus 7.7 with all these red squares above average days. It's been crazy warm, so that puts us in the number one slot. We're in the winning position as the warmest October on record so far, but we're not too far away from the second slot here, so it remains to be seen over the next two, three days. But we're going to have temperatures above average today again, close to 10 degrees above the average for this date. The average high in Boston for October 28th is 57. You can see we're in the 65 to 68 range for highs across the nation. Uh, uh, around New England, as far as across the nation, it's hot in Phoenix, 89, but around LA only 75, unlike the last few days or earlier this week when the temperature was exceeding 100 to make it the hottest uh, World Series game ever on Tuesday night there, late Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday evening. Here's some chilly air in parts of the Midwest and uh, certainly cold there. We have this frontal boundary on its way. It doesn't look that impressive right now, but actually there's going to be a storm developing as some atmospheric energy comes along and it may actually try to capture what looks to be a new developing tropical system which may come up the western Atlantic and the eastern seaboard to uh, sort of enhance the rainfall with tropical downpours. But that's not going to happen today. It will be happening later tomorrow. Today we'll just start to see patches of clouds showing up during the afternoon hours. A really beautiful Saturday here with those above average temperatures. It gets cloudier tonight and a few scattered showers do develop in the early morning hours. But for the most part it looks like they should stay west of an I-95 corridor, meaning that southeastern Massachusetts likely not to get any rain. And even where there is some, it isn't going to be raining the whole time. It's just a pass, patching, a passing patch of showers. And we'll have more of those developing during Sunday, but most of the action will be taking place out west. So right in the Boston down to Foxborough line, sort of pretty much just outside of the rain. I say if you're going to the game tomorrow, take some rain gear with you. But it looks like a lot of this rain happening to the west of Foxborough. But that wall of water is destined to strike and certainly will be coming in by the end of the afternoon and certainly tomorrow evening as it whips on through here. And it's just going to be pouring rain tomorrow night for a few hours into early on Monday morning. One final blast of showers may come through here during Monday morning and then that system will be moving away. In the wake of the system, we'll still have quite a lot of wind. So the flash flood watch is up for late tomorrow and tomorrow night. The high wind watch is up for tomorrow evening through Monday afternoon. These all displayed and issued by the National Weather Service here in Taunton. It looks like street and some urban flooding likely out of this. Not expecting any coastal flooding. The highest winds will be occurring just prior to and through the low tide times as opposed to have it happening during the high tide times. With the wind though, there'll be tree damage and scattered power outages. And the scattered power outages may even last through Monday. Looks like we have saturated ground. More trees are coming down. The one to three inches of rain over eastern uh, New England and over three inches in western sections. There will be some street flooding as we do have some uh, potential for a lot of clogged catch basins as the uh, wind really starts roaring here over the next few days. How much wind? As much as 50 to 70 miles per hour in eastern sections and much of that happening tomorrow night and into about daybreak on Monday, 35 to 50 in central sections. So those are the gusts. Those aren't the sustained winds. And we'll still have quite a lot of wind in on Monday. By the time we get to Halloween, we're not going to be much wind at all. Practically clear and calm. Just a few scattered clouds on uh, late Tuesday afternoon for trick-or-treaters, late afternoon, early evening will be dropping down to lower 50s to upper 40s. Here's a seven-day forecast calling for that rain and wind primarily late tomorrow, especially tomorrow night, winding down Monday morning, but staying windy all day even though it turns partly sunny. Dropping wind on Tuesday, nice for trick-or-treaters, up around 60 for high, but down to 50 by the trick-or-treat time. And looks like fine days on Wednesday, but a couple of showers Thursday and warming up at the end of the week. That's the forecast for now. You can watch WBZ News tonight at 11 o'clock. You can also see it at 8 o'clock. And at 8 o'clock, you can see it on my TV 38 for the latest news and weather updates. Have a nice weekend.